Hey guys, this is Manak, your student bro. So today we will do the second lecture on SEP 2000 in which we'll draw a frame and apply some loads, including UVL and see the results. First of all, we'll go to file and click on new model and it will take some time to appear. By the way, if you're watching this and if you think this is an informative content and if you want to like my effort, just make sure to like the video. It helps really helps a lot. So first of all, the default unit is kilonewton meter and this is basically the SI units which you will select and India. And then since you're making a frame, the easiest way is to select the 2D frames. So now uh, if you want to proceed, I uh, just, uh, I want to draw a simple single base structure and the materials, you know, it's it's, it's uh, on default, but if you want, you can define the materials also. So let's quickly define some materials and properties also. We will do it here itself. So add new property, uh, concrete, rectangular, uh, just we'll do this B 250 cross uh, 250 and uh, just do this. 0.25 and here also 0.25 and materials also let's define some materials and new material uh, India and then this concrete M25 okay and another new material we'll add India rebar and then F550 okay so this materials you're adding this for this one we'll select M25 so M25 is selected and then for reinforcement we'll select F550 and this is for the beam and for the beam cover up to bar center is 35 mm just click on okay and click on okay and another i just add copy of this property here it will be a c 250 cross 50 and uh, concrete reinforcement columns and uh, remaining things is okay click on okay click on okay and for this one, we'll select this, okay. And this one, we'll select this B and C. So restraints will untick on this because we want to add restraints ourselves. Click on okay. Uh, structure ready made. So first thing we'll do is uh, select the supports and create the restraints. Assign joint restraints, fixed supports. Click on fixed support. Click on apply, and click on the next restraint to make it determinable structure. Make the pin support. Click on apply. So it's a determinant structure. Now, uh, once this is done, we will apply our loads. Okay. So first of all, we have to select uh, any frame. So let's select this. Okay. So this is selected. And after that, we'll go to assign. Okay. Assign and assign frame loads. So go to frame loads and we'll go with distributed. So let's apply UVL load here. So UVL load global and uh, this is the relative distance. So zero represents this end and one represents this end. So it will be 0 0.5, 0 0.5 means at the center. So this is how it works. So at zero, suppose it is uh, 10 and at one it is zero. So it will be like that. So one, zero, one, zero, I'll do this like this, remaining in the middle, we'll decide. So global gravity direction, click on apply, and you can see the load here. So then click on, uh, you can click on OK, or you can just open the window like this. And after that, you can select this one. So suppose you want to select, uh, give a, provide a, U, a UDL here. So first of all, we'll, just do away with this load okay and then in the uniform load we'll do 10 but here we have to make sure we do the direction right so you can see in the teal uh, teal color we have our direction so z is this one z uh, z or z is this one x is this one y direct this one so if you have to apply load in this direction so it will not be global okay so it can be this let's uh, go with global only let's go with x so x positive is this direction. So you have to apply load in this direction, it will be negative. So let's do minus 10 and then click on uh, apply. So you can see the load has been shown here like this. So similarly, if you want to apply any, let's say, suppose point load, you can also do that. So for point load, suppose you want to apply a point load here in the center or just we can apply the point load there. I'll just close this 
and uh, assign frame loads point. So if you want to apply the center, so it will be 0.5 and the load, let's say it is uh, 5. So now the direction. So what is the direction? We'll just click here and zoom in for the direction. So this is the uh, X direction. This is the positive X direction in which the load will be applied. So just do load in X. So problem solved, apply. And this window was selected. So it is showing here 5 newton load has been applied similarly if you apply uh, if you want to apply uh, any load at the joints you just select the joint you can, and you can apply that okay or okay there are two ways i'm showing you suppose you want to apply, uh, select apply at this joint so just select the joint and click on assign and uh, joint loads forces and uh, this is in the x direction okay so global x let's go with four okay and click on apply so this will be applied here like this okay so like this you can apply loads right and once the loads have been applied then you can do the analysis for analysis first of all we will just go to define load patterns if you don't want to consider self weight just click on zero and modify load pattern so now the load uh, you know this self weight will not be considered then you can go to uh, analyze and run analysis in this window just go to model and do not run so it will not turn the model, only the dead load which you applied, it will be uh, done. So click on run now. And first of all, save the file and then just uh, run the file here like this. So, so you'll see the result. So this is the deformed shape here, which is appearing. So here, if you want to see the uh, forces, let's show the forces here at joints. Let's go arrows and uh, click on apply. So like this, and if you want the tabulated version, you can see the tabulated version of the forces here. And then again, if you want to see the bending moment and shear force, so sorry, just click here, frames cables, and for the shear force, click on shear to two, and click on apply. You see the shear force here, for values, you can just switch to this one. And if you want to see the movement, just click on movement three, three, and click on apply. So you'll see the movement. Okay, so bending moment, shear force, spill diagram, values, you can all find it here. So like this, you can find out the bending moment, shear force, and the reactions in this. So we conclude this video. In the next video, we'll move towards creation of an actual building. Keep learning. Bye-bye.